hello guys and welcome back to a new video today i have with me a little beast the new hyundai i20 n performance and in this video i will do the review interior exterior so you'll know everything about this new hyundai i20 n performance at the end of this video go to the exterior we will go to the interior we will talk about the space about the seats about the quality material about the multimedia system about the sporty features and performance of the car so if you want to know everything about this new i20 n stay with me until the end of the video also click the subscribe button if you want to see the full test drive if you want to see how is to drive this car i will make a separate video about driving this new e20 n and i will start with technical data and then we will go outside and we will talk about the exterior of the car so first of all i want to tell you that the car come with 1.6 liter tgdi petrol engine 204 horsepower 275 newton meters the engine it's a petrol engine with four cylinders in line just to keep in mind also it's connected with a proper six speed manual transmission for sporty car this is a proper transmission i drive the car before it's incredible i mean i love this stick here we will talk about that a little bit later then the space in the trunk 352 liters and if you fall down the seats will be 1165 liters so something to keep in mind also the car can do 0 to 100 in 6.7 seconds pretty good co2 emission 158 grams also the consumption combined consumption around 7 liters the fuel tank capacity 40 liters also the front suspension independent mcpherson suspension and the rear multi-link suspension also the brake discs in the front 320 millimeters ventilated brake discs in the front in the back in the rear only brake disc but they are a little bit smaller 262 millimeters so those are the most important technical data about the car now of course you want to know the price i'm here in switzerland at parisi automobile i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to check them out they have great price here i will show you in a moment the link is in the description just call them ask them if you want to buy the car if you want to test drive the car just contact them now the price of the car guys usually the price the new price it's 35,450 francs at least here in Switzerland at Parisi Automobile uh, but they have a great discount the car it's brand new and they already have a 2,000 francs discount so the final price will be 33,450 francs I don't know Hyundai have such a good price and for what this car offer it's just blow my mind in comparison with other cars um, I don't know it's it's really good so you will see as we go in the video so very very good price at least here so check out the link in the description then guys of course the car come with extra for example extra metallic color and pearl 700 francs it comes with a few extra options up here for example the N looks package 4200 francs it's integrated in this price it's just incredible the price it's it's really good i will show you also later the navigation it comes with the latest navigation from hyundai and i will show you all that features of the car so those are the technical data guys now let's go outside and let's review the exterior then we go inside and i will review also the the interior of the car so yeah let's do it guys okay so first of all let's start with the key here is the key it's a nice key also uh we see it also on the other models for example on the i30 n performance uh, you can see the n logo here on the other side and on this side you have three buttons so to unlock the trunk uh, and also to lock and unlock the car it doesn't come with an automatic lift gate uh, on the trunk but it comes with uh, electronic folding mirrors also when you lock the car you can see that the mirrors are folding in and also you can lock and unlock the car by having your key in your pocket all you have to do is just press this button you lock the car or you unlock it from here also it's great that the car it's unlock automatic for you if you set that from the interior of the car now guys let's turn on the lights and then let's talk about the exterior all right guys i just turned on the lights and let's talk a little bit about the exterior design so in my opinion it's a very similar the shape it's very very similar with the new e20 but they add a few things for example the bumper the skirt the rims the brakes they add also the roof spoiler also the front grille it's a little bit different overall the design of the car it's quite nice i like it i mean the car it's, it looks really sporty really aggressive so immediately you know this is a sporty car i think everybody on the street 
will notice this car. It's, it's like a rally car. If you look from the back here, it's more than a dr daily driver car. I should say like that. I mean, it's really, really concentrated and focused on sporty design. And yeah, the lines of the car, the design, it's really nice in terms of sporty. If you are on the market for a sporty car, this might be one of the, the best and the most aggressive in this class. I don't know if you find other car more aggressive in this class than, than this i20 and performance. It's really nice. Also very aggressive bonnet here. If you look at the bonnet at the hood, you can see those lines that goes almost all the way to the front of the grill. And it looks really aggressive. If you look down here, on the grill, black, glossy grill, beautiful. You have the N logo here. It looks really big and nice. And also with this glossy black plastic make a lot of sense in combination with the blue color. Then you have huge air intakes here uh, that the air go inside to the radiator to cool down the engine. Then you have the Hyundai logo in the middle. So overall, quite nice. If we go here, guys, look at this air intakes, real, real, real air intakes. I don't know if you can see it from the video, but here are real. The air go inside here and then go outside around the wheels. So like a proper sporty car, also nice design. The fog lamps are not LED, they are just a uh, normal bolt light. But if we go down here, you can see that red color continuing down here on the bumper. Really aggressive, really nice. And also the air intakes down here, really beautiful. Anyway, great, great sporty design uh, of the bumper in the front. Going on the side here, guys, we can see the mirror, LED light on the mirror here. Also nice design in black. The mirrors are in black always, no matter what model you take. A really beautiful design on the mirrors, really quite sporty and aerodynamic. You have blind spot technology in the corner here, uh, and also they are pretty big, so you have a good visibility there. The handles, you already see it, simple lock and unlock. Then the doors quality, if you hear it, the quality of the doors are really good. Uh, they are kind of standard for Hyundai. Almost all the new cars from Hyundai have the same sound, the same quality on the doors, and I like it. Now here on the side, you can see even the lines and the sharp edges lines. Down here, you have this skirt where you have the N logo here and all that plastic skirt with a red insertion down here look really make the car really sportier and not only that it make it sportier but it also protect the paint of the car in time from rust and all kind of stuff and also in this area it's very important to be protected from rust in time so yeah overall great job i like it you have tinted windows here in the back and you can see between the windows you have this black matte plastic looks really nice with these tinted windows in combination with a black roof it look really good and also on the roof you have this radio antenna black glossy radio antenna then you have this roof spoiler up here really beautiful really sporty i like it i mean it's crazy this roof spoiler the way it looks and also it helps at high speeds it helps a lot this maximum speed with this e20 and it's 220 kilometers so plenty plenty of speed and at that speed you really need some kind of spoiler up here it also it looks really spectacular really nice and also the way it continuing here on the side tinted window in the back here really beautiful also black glossy plastic here you have the reverse camera by the way also they insert this kind of bar red bar here it's kind of a fake it's not a light it's just a fake one but it looks quite nice then you have the lights in the back you can see e20 uh, and then you have the led light here quite nice it looks really good then you have the blinkers in the back here in the rear blinkers are normal bolt light and the reverse light is also normal bolt light i don't know why and the brakes are led lights that's something to keep in mind but overall they look nice the design is super nice super unique i wish they were also led lights uh, those blinkers then if i go down a little bit on the bumper really nice aggressive down part here really really nice i like those red insertion those light reflectors down here the, the air diffuser down here kind of a fake air diffuser but it looks so nice and also here you have the fog lamp right here in the middle led light also the fog lamp beautiful and something that i was really impressed is the fact that the exhaust pipes look the same as on the audi rs6 look at that you have also that valve that close and open to give you that sound that 
that interesting powerful sound here on the number plate you don't have led lights you have normal bolt light on the number plate that's something to keep in mind but other than that beautiful design guys i mean look look at that look at that bumper down there really aggressive here you have the tank on the driver's side the petrol tank keep in mind it's here quite nice it's it's good that it's on the driver's side i want to go now to one of my favorite part the tires and down here we have 18 inch tires the rims are just gorgeous i mean i love those rims i love the way they look i think they can use this also on other cars model i wish i can see those rims on uh, an i30n for example i think they will look just crazy now you can see the n logo here with red brake calipers look gorgeous ventilated brake discs quite big brake discs here in the front beautiful design p0 Firelli tires they look splendid on the car also in the back here in the rear you have the brake calipers also in red but this time here you have just uh, brake discs no ventilated brake discs beautiful design overall the car with the rims look just gorgeous gorgeous guys look at them wow let's go to the light and here in the front guys i was really impressed to see the fact that they don't use any anymore that bolt light on the on the blinkers and this time they are led lights so they make baby steps you know baby steps are good better than no step you can see the daylight it looks so nice i don't know like crystal i don't know if you can see it on the video but it looks somehow like crystal it's really interesting on the video you cannot see it so well but in reality it looks really good and also you have full led light a high beam low beam everything it's led in the front here so love it love it great job i wish i see that in the back as well and it's so unique the design also the car come with a camera up here for reading the traffic speed limit uh, lane assist and also here you have the raining and light sensors up there so overall this is the exterior i hope i didn't miss something guys I hope I show you everything until now. I want to show you also the engine bay, by the way. You open it up from here. And then here is the engine bay. Now, let's see if I can open this up with one hand. Yes, I can do it. You have a manual lift gate in the front. Here's the engine, 1.6 liter TGDI, four cylinders in line, 204 horsepower. So much power for such a small car. And you can see right there, turbo, smart stream g and logo beautiful guys to be honest when i see for, for, for the first time the trunk i was like wow i mean for such a compact car for such a small car uh, to be able to have so much space here you have the handle up here you have this protection for the trunk i will take it out and i will show you the entrance it's pretty big for the size of the car also down here you have some plastic at entrance you have like five centimeter deepness you have boost sound system in this price so wow i mean wow hooks in the corners then here you have some hooks light normal bolt light some storage space in the in the right side here and the cool fact is that under the floor you have another space here it's like 15 20 centimeters and then go down under this and you have another huge space here where you can put i think even a spare tire you can fit in here incredible i mean wow so much space great job hyundai i like it i mean i like it for such a sporty car uh for such a compact car to have to be able to have all this space is just perfect anyway let me take this off and then we will fall down the seats to see how much space we have there I just take out that protection now you can see a little bit better the entrance quite big entrance here in the car really relatively good the thing is that you have to fold it down 60 40 you don't have in the middle some kind of uh, middle part where you can fold it down to carry long items uh, it's normal for this uh, category of car in this class so all you have to do is just push this like that and then push it forward now i think the only thing is that you have to put a seat belt on the side first of all yes then you open it from here, put the seat belt on the side, and just push it forward or you just leave it like that. Now, look at this guys, you have a flat floor there, almost a flat floor and the, the space here is relatively good. It's great that you can fit in there quite big items and you have this flat floor 
uh, much better than in other cars model in this class. And the quality here, it's really good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the space. I like the space. I like the way it looks. So great job, Hyundai. Also, big entrance here. The door, it's open pretty large and nice. Also, the entrance in the car, relatively big. You can see one more time the space right there in the trunk in the car. So very practical the way it is it's clean nice practical behind the seats you have also some kind of storage space quite big storage space and what i like is the fact that it doesn't have a transmission tunnel it's like a flat floor like an electric car that's awesome really great job hyundai i like that it's super super practical now if i go back a little bit you have a big window here from one pieces i like that we will see the the space the visibility from the interior as well then on the upper side you have a plastic here but nice design then you have the handle in gray down here you have also plastic guys keep in mind you have all the door it's made by plastic so you don't have soft material but if you look at the design from here it looks relatively nice I mean the design it's quite nice you have the button for the electric windows you have a handle you have the Bose sound system a very nice design so the sound it's incredible good then you have a storage space quite big here so overall the practicality it's good now anyway let me put everything back and we will go inside to see how much space we have all right guys so let's go inside to see how much space we have here also at the first look you can see it looks really spacious and i think you have enough space here i will go inside and i will show you how much space i have I like very much the design of the seats and also the quality of the seats and the way they look. They are fabric material, but guys, trust me, sometimes fabric material is better than leather. You have here a leather on the headrest, by the way, and then it begins here with fabric material. You have this nice design here, kind of specific for the end performance. Uh, then you have pretty soft and good quality material, Isofix for for a child you can install two child seats you have kind of a side support here some leather on the side here uh, the stitches in this blue and then you have the design of the seats also in the middle here they kind of flat it out for free person I think you can stay even free person here really comfortable if you look at the design of the seats they, they are quite nice now the only downside is you don't have an armrest or cup holders here you have the cup holders only in the doors so that's something to keep in mind in the front here you have sporty design seats leather everywhere leather leather soft material some storage space here where is the book in the middle here you have an usb uh, 2 port and then you have some storage space here for your phone to leave it out so no vents right there now let me go inside going inside look at this how many cars how noisy it is close the door yes silent yeah the sound insulation is good i i noticed that also when i reviewed the the normal i20 look at this, so many cars and it's so silent inside here they did a great job with sound insulation even though it's a small car now let's talk a little bit about the position the position of here it's really good no problem good visibility you have a big window right here so i have a good visibility it's another small window there in the back so in terms of visibility here it's perfect also the comfort on those seats it's quite good i stay relatively good here also headrest four and a half almost five fingers up here a lot of space let's see on the knees space on the knees also more than enough uh, for such a small car it's, it's perfect i mean no complaining i can stretch my legs a little bit in the front i have 173 centimeters to make an idea guys also we have a handle up here the quality on the roof it's somehow in the middle not not the worst not the best it's quite good let me go in the middle here I have, as you can see you have kind of a flat floor I go in the middle very easy because you don't have a transmission tunnel you can have also your legs together that's a good thing then here is the space here is the space not bad also on my head I have less space than on the side maybe three and a half fingers four fingers stretch my hands almost I should say and here completely yeah not bad even for free people I stay really good in the middle and it's because you don't have that center uh, armrest in the middle the the back here it's also soft and nice and, and to be honest it's really comfortable here in the middle and i think you can have free person uh, free passengers here in the back even for somehow medium trips short to medium trips without any problem so you should be fine 
up here on the roof also normal bolt light no led we will go now in the front and we will talk about uh, the dashboard the multimedia system and every single features in the front there the dashboard as you can see look quite nice really futuristic and yeah quite quite modern i should say uh, i like very much a few things there for example the steering wheel the multimedia the cockpit uh, also the pedals the gear shifter it's nice and yeah the climatic system as well so yeah let's go in the front guys let's go there big window here great visibility i like that also you have here big speaker right here and also a small one right here on the upper side the big speaker down here it has the same nice design kind of a fingered design like this and also it continuing in this area then you have storage space here quite quite big storage space and if you go up here on the upper side the same plastic but nice design uh, the same handle up here in gray and this time guys if you go down here you have leather in this area on the armrest on the front doors you have leather in this area then you have this nice blue insertion here kind of typical for end then you have the buttons for the windows also very good quality as you touch it i like it and also you can adjust the mirrors electrically from here you can fold the mirrors electrically also from here uh, from the door going inside here you have an end logo here at the entrance and then you have aluminum pedals that's something to keep in mind that's something that i like it very much i mean i love those pedals they feel really good those are the seats in the front the end seats special end performance seats beautiful seats i mean the way they look they are super super nice high quality you can see the end logo you can see the leather the stitches the blue stitches the design here the sporty proper sporty seats also you have side support here in leather side support in leather they are bright they are long they are just perfect the way they are i mean for a sporty car they are super good super nice and very comfortable i drive the car in it and they are incredible comfortable now let's go forward guys here on the down part you have heated steering wheel the car come with heated steering wheel and also you can adjust the position of the light then you have the start engine start stop engine and then traction control you can activate deactivate from here then you have those vents also with the same color as the as the card the classic traditional color for the end logo and then here on the on the dashboard you have a nice trim design you don't have soft material but you have a nice trim design and everywhere the same story same same story but beautiful design i think this is a great idea if you don't make soft material you make this beautiful trim that that make it look like it is soft let's talk a little bit about the visibility around the windows i tell you it's a big window you have great visibility perfect visibility on the on the window and also in the mirror and look at the mirror cool cool design on the mirror going forward great visibility on the windshield as well no problem in terms of visibility you have perfect visibility in this car uh, you can see one more time the seats in the back there and then going here you have an armrest also soft armrest you can adjust it and you have some storage space here no usb but it's a storage space useful manual handbrake proper manual handbrake for the sporty car uh, then you have two cup holders where the key it is right here and then one of my favorite part in this car is this gear shifter guys it's incredible incredible good quality this six speed manual gearbox the same beautiful colors here the stitches it's it's gorgeous if you go in reverse look look at this going reverse one two three four five six look how easy it is you go so easy in the, in the in the speeds and you have such a nice grip i love the way it is it's gorgeous one of my favorite uh, gear shifter for the manual car then going a little bit forward here we have heated seats for you and the passenger actually let's start the engine here is the start engine button guys behind the steering wheel starting the engine confirm also it comes with new multimedia system we will talk about that later here it is uh, driving modes let's start with the driving modes you have free driving modes like the, on the new uh, tucson cars also like a new hyundai cars uh, also tucson have it on it so for example you have sport mode eco mode normal mode 
yeah so you can go in every mode you want then you have here the parking sensors you press this button you activate the parking sensors and then you have this camera when you activate the reverse camera so you can see the reverse camera have good good resolution not sure if you can see it from here but overall it has a very good resolution and also you can change the angles uh, of the camera so uh, overall very good very good camera now going forward you can charge your phone wireless and you have plenty of space here to charge it usb 2 usb 2 12 volt port here perfect for 2021 you don't need more than that i mean you have everything you need in the car the glow box here pretty huge light up there a lot of space in the glow box super super practical and nice also the dashboard the same design with with the fingers design i should say like that also everything it's clean and nice and kind of futuristic design you don't have too much soft material around here but um, the design it's nice you have this matte gray plastic then going a little bit upper here guys on the climatic system i like how easy it is to use this climatic system you have physical buttons right here turn it on and off it's the temperature you can choose from here uh, for example also for the from here you change uh, the speed the fan speed it's very easy and for most of the people it's super easy to to press those buttons and to activate different function on the climatic system so most of the people will like very much this climatic system also the vents feel really good quality as you touch it i like them i mean it's, it's good quality start engine button behind the steering wheel here up here you have a normal ball plate you have sos button and other than that pretty simple and here you have of course a huge mirror as all the hyundai's and then you have a normal bulb light up there so no don't expect to have um, led light here guys but other than that pretty cool now let's go to the fun part one of the best part is the multimedia system right here in the front is the newest multimedia system from hyundai i have a special video a separate video about it and also about the cockpit if you want to see it check out on my channel the new hyundai multimedia system 2021 it's already there it's the same same multimedia system and system software system that use on the new tucson santa fe and all that uh, new cars and then you have here Kind of a shortcut buttons you go to the map you go to navigation you go to the radio you go to the media here and then here you go to the setup of the car uh, also you can use the touch screen the touch screen work really good really very responsive one of the best on the market today huge 10 inch screen display here and you have so many so many options uh, to go through you have manual notice hyundai live the car have also blue link an application for the car you can install it on your phone and you can see where is the car you can see information about the car so it has like a gps then you have uh, settings here on the settings when you go to the settings you have all the settings of the car the vehicle settings navigation settings sound settings you can see you go to sound settings and here you have so many settings on the bose sound system it's it's really incredible it's really really a good sound system then you have the navigation system if you want to go to the navigation system phone connectivity of course you can connect your android auto apple carplay i have a special video on how to connect your phone with this system check out on my channel but you have to use an usb cable look at that video guys if you are interested in that it's on my channel already then going forward you have general settings on the general settings you have all that general settings like data time languages you can change the language keyboard units kilometer miles you can change it from here depending which country you are and how you want to have it blue link you have it down here uh, settings if you go here you can activate it uh, i don't want to go too much into detail i will make a special video about that display here information and then you have the vehicle information that's our most important and on the vehicle information you have all kind of settings like speed limit uh, warning timing warning volume driver attention warning forward safety lane safety blind spot technology and parking safety lane assist safety you can activate it from here you can say assist assist me uh, blind spot here you can also say assist forward safety activate it and all other settings you can activate is activate from here super simple uh, just like that then you have the driving mode on the driving mode guys you can also uh, change here for example detail alert for example the driver is showing 
by an image of the vehicle and a detailed description okay simple alert they will tell you anyway leave it like that how it was before cluster instrument cluster here the brightness of the cockpit then the climatic system the lights i don't want to go too much into detail there are so many customizable things ambient light here you can also choice how you like to have it the doors of course convenience yeah so many so many uh, options now let's go back to the menu on the menu here uh, we have also valid mode climatic system sound of nature it comes with that sound of nature's uh, classic for hyundai so you have that interesting sounds inside the car and it also sound really good because you have the Bose sound system uh, on the car then here you see it next one is the media uh, settings then you have the radio uh, then you have the phone navigation i will show you also the navigation but this doesn't work right now uh, then you have the map here actually yeah you have to update the, the the software because the car is brand new it doesn't have it but keep in mind it's the same navigation as the uh, other uh, new hyundai cars so it's worked really good it's a great great uh, navigation system then you have the n mode the n mode it's only special from for the n cars if you go here to the application you will see how complex you have a lot of information about the throttle the oil the temperature of the engine also you can customize those things in in many ways and it's so complex this uh, application here and soft that that Hyundai use that I don't know even the most expensive car like Mercedes and all that stuff they, they are kind of not so much in deep details as it is here so you have the launch control you have the performance option here where you can change for example uh, the RPM then you have the shift light also RPM then you have the N road sense you can activate the N road sense right here uh, as well it has so many so many options then you go back I want to show you here you have the g-force with all that information uh, about that then you have here uh, for example the engine you can choose three different mode normal sport and engine and sport plus then you have the steering normal sport sport plus the uh, traction control then you have the exhaust sound you can change the different sound mode here the rev matching you can choose off normal sport or sport plus that's really incredible that you are able to change that if you go to custom here you have custom one and custom two the custom one it's the first button custom two it's second button when you press this button you get you directly to the to the end mode custom one and then you press this one it's custom two you can see also on the screen down there uh, and also here you can customize those modes for example in custom one it's everything at maximum sport the engine the steering the rev matching the traction control exhaust sound and here it says maximize engine respond and acceleration suitable for uh, dynamic and race track driving so this is the maximum speed then you go to custom two also you can customize that the way you want it and here it says like uh, balance configuration performance comfort and fuel economy so for relaxing driving at constant speed suitable for comfort daily driving so yeah pretty nice and also you can take off the exhaust sound if you don't like it or you can leave it just like that so yeah pretty nice i like in how many ways you can customize those things here it's really really impressive also how many information about those things you have here also on the first screen here you have the throttle information if you go here throttle oil temperature temperature brake pressure speed power torque and then you have the dual uh, gauge here where you can see a comparison it's it's incredible i mean in terms of of uh, customizable at this price hyundai offer a lot a lot of things so it's incredible complex so other than that those are the most important uh features right there on the on the multimedia guys and to be honest it's it's a really really good multimedia system very responsive very big good visibility from the driver point of view in the cockpit good visibility in the multimedia very easy to adjust the things if i go to the cockpit of course you can adjust the things from here very simple very classic for hyundai it's the same as on the other uh, cars model as well and you can see right there uh, as you see before if when you change the driving mode it's changing also the the display and the graphics right there and also you have in the middle there more information like information about uh, driving information about uh, sporty mode g-force oil temperature 
torque and turbo yes and then you have the normal consumption on the last kilometers and then you have the navigation system but the navigation is not installed yet and then here you have the tire pressure so yeah this is pretty classic for you i think you already know this but the fun part something different guys is that on the steering wheel you have those and buttons right here and buttons and all you have to do is just press is this is n1 customizable one and this is n2 so when you press this one look at this the cockpit is changing and it looks like this look how cool it look with the n in the middle like a proper sporty car you press the other one is changing again press the first one and then oh my god gorgeous gorgeous i have to say it's gorgeous so n1 n2 and then you have another button here for the revs you can activate and deactivate the revs from here how cool is that you can adjust the steering wheel up down forward backward of course the lights are here on the stalk uh, and then those are the controllers for the multimedia system right there and the things right there uh, the music the telephone the, the voice command and also on the right side you have the controls for the cockpit that you see it before here and also you have the cruise control uh, for example lane assist and the cruise control you activate it very simply from here so pretty cool also on the steering wheel you have the n logo down here you have the stitches in the same color look at the stitches uh, gorgeous that blue uh, and also great grip leather steering wheel fantastic quality look at these guys really good quality i like everything about this car to be honest it's, it's a really really good car now i think i cover almost everything i don't know if i miss something on the car guys i hope i didn't miss anything that was the review i will have another special separate video with the test drive there i explain you a little bit more the driving mode i will explain you the revs i will explain you everything about the driving visibility comfort brakes gear shifter everything about driving check out the other video probably is not on the channel but if you want to see when the, the video will come out just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out and don't miss it out also i will leave the link in the description to the car if you are in switzerland around switzerland come here guys at uh, parisi automobile uh, and check them out they have great price as you see in the beginning of the video they have super super good discounts the link is in the description the rating for the car i should say from 1 to 10 uh, will be a 9.5 because the price is incredible, the performance is very good, uh, the quality is great and it's also a practical car. So that's, the, that's my rating for this uh, Hyundai E20N performance. Also, thank you very much for watching my video. If you find it useful, if you get some useful information from the video, please like it, share it. Also subscribe to the channel to see the newest car on my channel. Also, if you have still question, I forget something, uh, ask me down below, I will answer to you. I read all your comments so again thank you very much for watching my videos stay safe guys don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of videos tips information about cars and much more from auto industry thank you very much for watching stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys